And uh, before we start, we want to say thank you to the people of Pfizer and Caltrade Plus for making this event possible. And I'm going to move a little back. And um, before we start, we actually have um, the senior product manager, Ms. Rhoda Del Campo. Hi, Rhoda, can you join us on stage? Let's give her a round of applause, guys. Hello, everyone. Okay, so um, as Andy mentioned, well, just to start, I'm also a mom. I'm a mom of two boys. I have a three-year-old, and one is turning two by next week, Monday. So I share um, Andy's sentiment of that joy of you knowing that you're around moms, just like you. And as moms, um, I'm just going to start this program uh, with a very short message. It's really, as moms, we know that we live for our children, right? And um, they're the center of our lives. And beyond knowing, Andy mentioned that this is all about celebrating Osteoporosis Day. We are actually partners of the International Osteoporosis Foundation. And Pfizer Consumer Health is the official partner in celebrating this global activity. But beyond that, I'm, talk I'm going to talk to you as a mother and how I see osteoporosis and how it is relevant to me. Uh, when I joined Pfizer Consumer Health, my only um, notion of calcium was when I was pregnant and I had to take it because I was pregnant and my, the, the baby in my body had to have the right levels. But um, I, after I joined Pfizer Consumer Health, I realized that osteoporosis and um, calcium supplementation goes so much beyond that. When I see old women with stoop posture, which I remember my Lola used to have this stoop posture. When I see old women in their 60s, 70s, 80s, and I see them limping, or I see them and they're having a hard time walking, um, to me, that's osteoporosis. and it just means that I didn't do something when I was younger, okay? Because what we're here and what we need your help to spread the word about is we can take charge of our bone health as early as today. And why do we do that? Because we want to be there for children every step of the way, not just to run around after them, run after them while they're still toddlers, just like my two boys. Um, and it's really testing my strength, <laughs> how fast they grow and how fast they run. It's not about um, just, you know, just fearing that one day we might have to posture, but it's really to have that assurance that I will always be there for my children every step of the way, from the time they're babies until the time that they get married. So I hope uh, with your help, you will be able to help us Spread the word, learn from the things that we will enjoy together here, um, from the bone healthy exercises that we uh, are gonna show you, and cooking up calcium rich foods, and also talking to a doctor expert so that we can take care of our bodies more. So, hope you enjoy this as much as we do. Um, you know, when you're young, uh, when you're single, apparently you're very carefree. Um, you don't worry, you don't, you have no worries, um, you basically eat anything you want, you eat a crispy pata, you eat all the lechon you want, you know, and later on, you get married, then kind of like a part of you is, you know, part of sacrifice to your husband, like you have someone else to take care of, but then you become a mom, everything changes, you know, you're, um, you sacrifice everything, and not only that, but you, you look beyond yourself. You, you don't just take care of yourself. I mean, you take care of yourself because you want to be there for your kids, right? And that's what's important. Anyway, osteoporosis. Let's talk about osteoporosis. I just had something to relate with Rhonda. Um, the prevention. Um, one prevention is actually being proactive with our health. And, in our, and osteoporosis can actually start at the age of 30, as early as 30. Who here is 30? Sigana, who here is below 30? Sigana. <laughs> Alright, let's just say we're below 30, right? Um, you know, it's never too late to change your lifestyle, to exercise, to take medicine, to take your vitamins. And it's important for us moms again to, you know, um, take care of our families, to enjoy longer life and, you know, happy lives with our kids as well. So first, we need to have good nutrition by way of bone healthy diet. This means consuming foods rich in calcium, vitamin D, protein, and micronutrients. Uh, this also includes being aware of uh, av the available calcium that we have in our food. And I know that 
we will be having um, chefs later on that will help us prepare the meals for our house that are rich in calcium also. Second, who here, sino dito nag-exercise? Or tries to exercise? I have three, at five, four. So again, everybody kind of raise their hands. So we should include physical activity because this actually strengthens the bones. And did you know that yoga, do you guys do yoga? Try to do yoga or watch people, or know people that do yoga, right? Um, it, uh, there's actually a research that yoga actually helps uh, prevent osteoporosis because there's a research that happened that uh, there's a group of like 68 year olds and they did yoga for two years and the result actually it increased their bone density over two years. So yoga is also one that helps prevent osteoporosis. And speaking of yoga, we actually have um, someone here who's gonna you know help us. Uh, going to show us uh, what we can do with yoga. I, I'm not sure if we're going to exercise. Are you going to exercise pa? You know, baka pwede, baka pwede naman, di ba? It's in the afternoon naman. But anyway, she's been practicing yoga for almost a decade. Uh, yoga actually helped her discover her mental and spiritual limits as well as provide a means of rejuve rejuvenation also. And after tr her training um, in Thailand, she now teaches others the art of Bikram Yoga in Anabang, Green Hills, and Quezon City. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tanya Tanoy. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Tanya. So let me start by telling you my, my topic for today. It's the major benefits of yoga to the bones. Let's keep it simple. I only have 15 minutes with you. So let me start by saying that we as women or as childbearing individuals are, you know, suffer more bone loss or uh, osteoporosis as we call it, as compared with men. So, uh, but the good news is we, we can reverse or actually slow down the process of this disease uh, by regularly practicing yoga. Yoga in general is very good for everyone, ages 9 to 90. It's good especially for us women, as I was saying, and unlike other weight-bearing activities, yoga won't damage cartilage or stress the joints. Instead, it lengthens the muscles and holds them there, creating tension on the bone. So it's unlike jogging or um, jumping ropes, this is very beneficial to our bones. It creates traction in the spine and it improves strength in the weight-bearing joints, namely the hips, the wrist, and our spine. Next up, yoga gives vitality and elasticity to our nervous system. It also corrects bad posture. I know most of you are bloggers here, so you're very, very, you know, tuned in to your computers. So if this one corrects your computer much. And then it also realigns the spine by putting tremendous pressure on the bones without harming any joints. So I have here eight postures, we'll, and I'll go briefly through them. The first one is backward bending. This one is very good for your skeletal system. You actually, you actually can do this in your seats, in your chairs. This post zones up the entire spinal region as the blood is made to circulate well around the spinal, posture, uh, spinal column. As the balance is maintained by the strength in the back muscles and as the weight of the body falls in the back of the neck, the back and the nail gain strength. So it straightens, it straightens rounded spines or the hunchback or what we call puba. It helps sciatic problems and relieving back pain and scoliosis. So it's very simple. It's down. So it basically, well this is the picture here. Basically, you just have to ground your feet onto the floor, use your legs, arms over the head, interlock your 10 fingers, lengthen your spine, articulate the spine, chest up, and just drop your head down. Let it hang heavy, and then just push your hips forward, arms back, look back, fall back. That's it. That's it. as simple as that. That's the backward bending. Next, oh well. Another benefit of the backward bending is it compresses the posterior part of your spinal, spinal column, pushing your disc away from the spinal nerves, and decompresses the front of the vertebrae. This effectively counteracts the damage of our spent forward bending. It also helps cure tennis elbow and your frozen shoulders. The next is the, uh, the very best complement for a backward bending, which is 
the hands to feet pose. It helps fight fatigue by bringing more oxygenated blood to your spine. Therefore, the body quickly absorbs the nutrients that you get that you get from your food. It aids in recovery of slip or ruptured disc. And lastly, it stretches the hips, releases frozen shoulder, and helps tennis elbow. So very quickly, again, I will do a demo. You can also try this in your seats where you can stand up. Again, feet together, really ground your feet onto the floor. As you inhale, you bring your arms up. And then just exhale, forward bending. Make sure your chin is forward. So again, no round backs, no back, just spine perfectly straight. And then touch the floor. You can grab your heels, lengthen, exhale, push. Basically, that's it. You don't need to, if you can't touch the floor, that's okay. You can touch your shin. But again, no round backs. No curling of your spine. Spine straight, you can do that with your chin forward. Inhale, exhale, downward. That's it. Weight is still on your heels. Okay, I think, uh, I think uh, we can ask someone to yeah, sure. join you, do the demo also. Sure.